What to look forward to from Marvel in 2021. Happy New Year! Goodbye 2020! Hello literally anything else. Yes, and since it is a new year, we are of course taking your Marvel questions. Like this one, which reads, what should I be most looking forward to from Marvel in 2021? Ugh, the best question of the year. Well, the short answer is a whole lot, and the long answer is following. So Ryan, please kick us off. Oh, you better believe I'm ready for it because I want to start things off with my sweet baby boy, MODOK. Marvel's MODOK is a brand new animated series coming to Hulu in, you guessed it, 2021. The show is co-created by Jordan Bloom and the hilarious Patton Oswalt, who is also playing the head honcho MODOK. I love that Patton Oswalt is back, especially because he is such a huge Marvel fan. He really, really knows his comics very well. Plus, I love to have him back in the Marvel Universe after playing the Koenig brothers in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's so cool. Jordan Bloom is also a friend of mine who is a big fan of comics and he is the freaking best. And the cast for the show is totally stacked. You've got Ben Schwartz from Parks and Rec as MODOK's son, Melissa Fumero from Brooklyn Nine-Nine as MODOK's very similar daughter, and Amy Garcia from Lucifer as MODOK's wife. That's right, Ryan, and the funny people just keep on coming, such as Sam Richardson from Veep, Wendy McClendon Covey from The Goldbergs, and John Daly from Literally Everything Funny. This show is sure to be silly, fun, irreverent, and packed with deep cuts from across the Marvel Universe. I mean, we've got full AIM Beekeeper costumes in effect here. In fact, here's a little sneak peek for everybody right now. All right. Big ideas to save AIM. You guys are my brain trust. What have you got for me? Blood car. What's that? It's a car that runs on blood. Terrible. What else? Oh, oh, we watch Wolf of Wall Street and do what the wolf does. You should stop pitching that. What else? Your uh, toilet's broken. <sighs> I like it. I don't understand it, but I like it. I still don't have a bar mitzvah suit. I'm looking for the right fabric. Do you mind if I have a feel real quick? Not at all, son of Modoc. Lou, stop fondling my brain truck. Dad, one of your dumbasses spilled acid all over my boyfriend. Come on, guys, acid is expensive. Modoc, can I talk to you for a minute? I was listening at the door and just my two cents, but maybe it's time to let AIM go. Never! Modoc doesn't give up. Flailerg isn't even in my vocabulary. Were you trying to say failure? Yes, I literally deleted it from my memory banks. You don't have to worry. I'm making enough to support us. Maybe it's my turn to take the reins. AIM is Modoc. Modoc is AIM. Without it, I, I wouldn't even know who I am. Wow, if that's true. I think we need to have a very serious conversation about what that means for us. Oh, I'll get it. Well, I hope it's the cool mailman. Keep an eye out for more updates coming this year. I can't wait. And, oh, and, 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 Jordan and Patton are writing an incredible new comic called Modoc Head Games. And it is so much fun. That'll be releasing into the new year as well. Oh, Ryan, what a headline. Do you get it? A headline? How dare you? I, oh. I, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't stop me while I'm ahead. All right, all right, all right. Enough puns. And speaking of must-watch TV, I know that we all cannot wait for the first Marvel Studios series to come to Disney+. Plus. Marvel Studios' WandaVision. Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany are back as Wanda Maximoff and Vision in this new series, which blends classic television and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. After the harrowing events of Marvel Studios' Infinity Saga, Wanda and Vision are living an idealized suburban life, but begin to suspect that everything is not as it seems. Watch it streaming on January 15th, only on Disney+. Ugh, I can't wait. And look out for more about Marvel Studios' The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, starring Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan, premiering March 19th on Disney+. And coming this May, our favorite god of mischief is back at the center of his own crime thriller in Marvel Studios' Loki, and it looks glorious. And look out later this year for Marvel Studios' Ms. Marvel, starring the newly announced Iman Vellani playing Kamala Khan. It's Kamala Khan's first appearance in the MCU, and I can't wait to see what they do in this new series later this year. And one of my favorites, Kate Bishop, is making her MCU debut in the new series, Marvel Studios' Hawkeye, coming to Disney Plus also later this year. I cannot wait. 
Next, Marvel Studios What If is going to be the MCU's first foray into animation and is gonna ask that question. What if a bunch of stuff in the MCU were a little bit different and it looks awesome. I cannot wait for everybody to check out all of those series coming this year on Disney+. Plus. And Ryan Langston, I'm not even close to done yet because I have not even talked about the Marvel Studios films. First up, we've got Marvel Studios Black Widow, which is putting Natasha Romanoff at the center of a rip-roaring spy adventure. I cannot wait to see it when it hits theaters on May 7th. Next up, we have Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And oh my gosh, look at this cast. It is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see Shang-Chi enter the MCU in theaters on July 9th. And we're bringing it home with Marvel Studios Eternals, opening up a new cosmic corner of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with an absolutely crazy amazing cast. I cannot wait for all of us to see it in theaters on November 5th. And you already know there is going to be so much more coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the coming years. So keep your eyes on marvel.com for all of the updates. Let's talk about Marvel games. I'm jazzed because there have been some huge things happening in the last few weeks. Of course, Marvel's Spider-Man and Miles Morales has been occupying all of my time on PS5. I even got a new gamer chair so I can be nice and comfy. In Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Man the cat is my favorite. I love them so much. I love that cat. I'm also really, really looking forward to Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, The Art of the Game, which is a book coming out in February. Oh yes, can't wait to check that out. And Spider-Man will be playable exclusively for the PlayStation in Marvel's Avengers, along with future content for all platforms. There is also some great stuff coming from mobile. Marvel Future Revolution, Marvel's first open world RPG on mobile is coming this year. The game teases a massive multiplayer online experience with 3D action combat and a large scale open world with amazing visuals. Plus, you get to play as some of your fan favorites such as Captain America, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, and of course, Doctor Strange. And it is truly going to be a revolution. Plus, there are new updates and additions all the dang time to some of your favorite Marvel games, such as Marvel Contest of Champions, Marvel Future Fight, Marvel Puzzle Quest, Marvel Realm of Champions, Marvel Strike Force, and more. And of course, follow Marvel Games to get updates about all the cool stuff coming throughout the year. Whew, already so much great stuff, but we still have more because I'm talking about new podcasts from Sirius XM. And the first one I'm particularly attached to because I get to host it with my pal who is an incredible Marvel writer named Evan Narciss, and it's called Marvel's Declassified. Each episode dives into Marvel's history to declassify the greatest stories, both in the Marvel Universe and uh, behind the scenes. Yes, learning is fundamental, and learning about the Marvel Universe, I would say, is more fundamental. Absolutely, Langston, completely. Um, oh, and if you wanna learn some really cool stuff, you should also check out Marvel Method. Featuring the legendary rapper and Marvel enthusiast, Method Man, he is gonna be talking to some of his favorite people who also happen to be major Marvel fans themselves, chatting about life, fandom, and their favorite comic books. Yeah, Method Man really knows this stuff. I met him at a party once and told him I worked at Marvel and we chatted for a while, he just like, he knows his Marvel stuff. He's very excited. The show's gonna be great. Plus, they have announced an upcoming slate for Marvel's Wastelanders, which are fictional podcasts, and I just cannot wait for you guys to hear them. Plus, we're still gonna have a bunch of your old faves on SiriusXM, like Marvel's Pull List, Marvel's Voices, Women of Marvel, and This Week in Marvel. Yeah, This Week in Marvel, which I host alongside Lorraine Sink and our BFF, James Monroe Igohart, AKA Tony Award winning superstar. All right, we still have some great stuff ahead with some huge new comics. Coming this January is the huge, giant, epic, crazy, wonderful, and very dark story, King in Black. Now, King in Black is Venom and the Marvel Universe facing off against Null, the god of the symbiotes from space. Ooh, terrifying. And we have Eternals number one featuring some of the most jaw-droppingly beautiful art you'll see in any comic this year, thanks to Asadra Beach. Also, best chin in the business, Thanos. Oh boy. 
<laughs> well, speaking of best in the business, let's talk about Star Wars. There is gonna be some more Star Wars goodness on the horizon. We have Star Wars The High Republic, which takes place before the Skywalker saga in the golden age of Jedi's, baby. You know what I'm saying, womp, womp, womp. Wow, it's like I'm in the movies. Oh, and uh, look out for something later that uh, will make you think, hmm, this is the way. You get it if you get it. Plus, there's gonna be more comics for Spider-Man, Valkyrie, X-Men, Marvel's Voices, Silk, America Chavez, and the return of the Runaways. Yeah, there's so much stuff. And now we gotta talk about live events happening this year. This March through September, the incredible museum exhibit Marvel Universe of Superheroes is slated to open at the Chicago Museum of Science and Industry. And if you're into trying your hand at the superhero life and you live abroad, check out Marvel Mission Escape Rooms. These rooms have different themes, including S.H.I.E.L.D., Iron Man, Spider-Man, Thor, as well as Ant-Man and the Wasp. Marvel Mission is now open in Lisbon, Portugal, and is moving to Spain this year. Oh, and you know how excited I get, Ryan. Lace up your boots. Lorraine, practice your suplexes because Marvel Lucha Libre kicked off with its first big match, resulting sadly in the crushing defeat of El Leon de Americana and El Aracno, inspired by Cap and Spider-Man, at the hands of El Terror Purpura and El Venenoide, inspired by Thanos and Venom. But if I know anything about our heroes, they don't stay down for long. So look out for more from Marvel Lucha Libre throughout the year. Langston, this is just like the first step for you and I getting to lace up boots of our own and step into the ring. And masks. Ooh. And while those men are wrestling each other, I just want you to keep in mind that there's gonna be a lot more great stuff coming out this year. Of course, this is just what we can tell you about right now. What are you looking forward to most this year? Tell us using the hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. And of course, you can always send us more than Marvel questions with the hashtag, you guessed it, Marvel questions. We'll see you next time. I'm Lorraine. I'm Langston. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your, Your universe. universe. They're gonna wrestle, it's fine. Thanks for watching Earth's Mighty Show. If you like this, like this, leave us a comment and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Then ding that bell to get updates about new episodes. Click that box to watch us answer more of your questions. So do you have any New Year's resolutions? I'm gonna become a MODOK. I must destroy the Weapon X. Oh, I made a couple of villains again.